It's not that I'm trying to make you into some sort of speed demon when you play, but the better you get with your Rhythm Pyramid, the more stuff you can do up in this refined, faster territory, and you can always come back down, but it makes your dynamics so much different. So everything isn't just the same, especially on a track like this where everything's kind of fast. Okay, so position shifting. Okay, well in this case what I could do is I could go back and forth between major pentatonic and minor pentatonic, but ultimately learning how to do that hybrid thing we talked about. Now, for me to explore that, what I would do if I were you is I would really try and go back to just meandering. So what I want to do is I want to play nice and slow. I'm not going to be soloing. I'm just going to explore movement from minor pentatonic into major pentatonic and then utilizing both of those scales kind of at the same time. Okay, and I'm going to do that in this, second, uh, this first position of G for minor and the second position of G for major. If you remember that from a long time ago in our video. So my minor, I'll just recap here, my minor looks like this. Okay? And our major in the second position then would look like this. I would play 3-5, 2-5, 2-5, 2-4, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 
I'm going to grow to be able to do those things. That's the whole point of jamming is not just getting in and doing exactly the same thing, but teaching yourself to do different things.